think it's time to change the narrative and start taking responsibility. This video is not just for people who are feeling lonely or depressed. It's for everyone. So make sure you watch till the end. Hi guys, my name is Anupama and welcome to my channel Lifeaholic. This has actually been a long pending video and I thought this is a good time to put it out because people are a little bit more receptive. Now I'm not any doctor, let me get that out straight, but I'm someone who knows what depression is. So I consider myself a little eligible to talk about this. This topic has actually been quite close to me and I've always wanted to share with you all what my thoughts are but I wanted to frame it properly so that whatever I'm about to convey comes out clearly to you guys. Now I see that the entire focus, if not the entire, at least the major focus has been on people who are under depression. We tell them what to do and what not to do and how to come out of the state and how they need to reach out to their family and friends at this time, which is fine. And I also see a lot of people post on social media that they are available if anyone wants to talk to them they are there they will be there and they will listen to you which is great I understand the intentions behind it but is that all I mean is that enough depression is a very very serious issue and we need to make a very committed effort to help those under depression so in this video, I'm not actually going to be talking about people under depression, but I'm going to be talking to the other section of the society. And I think, I think it's time that we listen to this, we understand this and we make a change. Now we tell people under depression to come out and talk to their family and friends, which is a great solution, but it can actually kind of get difficult for a depressed person or a person on the path of depression to reach out. Now this could be because of several reasons. It could be because of the stigma. It could be because of the fear of judgment. It could also be because my issues might seem petty to someone else. It could be because my friends are busy and they just don't have that kind of time to invest in my life. So through this video, I'm trying to reach out to the other section of the society and ask them to make a committed effort, not a one time effort, to make a committed effort to invest in the lives of at least few of your close uh, loved ones or your family members or your friends and to keep talking to them so that you make a safe place for them to confide in you when they want to reach out. And you need to always kind of create that environment that you can talk to me and I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to see the issues that you are facing through my eyes and I'm going to see it through your eyes. I understand you. I get you. This is the kind of uh, understanding that a person under depression needs because trust me, most of the time a person who is depressed is not talking out because they are scared that no one will understand them. So if a person under depression is reaching out, great. But if he or she is not, then it's your duty to reach out to them. Because most of the time people are always giving out subtle hints. And there's a common misconception that a person who is depressed is sad. And that's so not true. Because a person who is depressed will still have the waves of happiness and sadness and ups and lows just like everybody else. Also, depression has nothing to do with how mentally strong or weak a person is. And more often than not, it's not caused by something very traumatic in your life. It could be the small, small things that get bundled up into one huge monster inside. So my first request is to stop waiting for people under depression to reach out to you. Instead, you reach out to them. So now imagine this scenario. Two people come to you asking for your help. One has fractured his hand and the other person is suffering from depression. Who are you more likely to help? Most of us would help the person who has fractured his hand. But who is the person who is more in danger? 
the person who is depressed we as society have actually become very insensitive now you and me everyone each one of us are guilty of this in some way or the other it could be in the form of bullying it could be in the form of body shaming it could be in the form of trolling hasn't it happened that we pass a ruthless remark to some unknown person in the spur of the moment not knowing how it would be perceived by that other person isn't it scary to know that our one word can actually destroy someone's life i see an overweight woman walking by and people instantly start judging as moti hai she's fat and i'm surprised i'm literally surprised and shocked to see how easily such words are spoken without knowing someone's story without knowing how it would actually fall in their ears it should not take a suicide for people to wake up and understand this i hope the society can now at least be a little more sensitive to people now if you cannot help people do not harm them if you cannot appreciate someone don't devalue them hope my this video has impacted at least few people kindly do share it with others and spread the word and make people realize that it's time to now stop talking about mental health and start showing actions hope you like this video and if you did please hit like and please do subscribe to my channel please show some love for the efforts and the video that i'm coming up for you guys until next time stay tuned bye bye